Hi everybody, my name's Nelson. Uh, I'm from Isometric Lighting and Design. I'm a design director uh, in the Hong Kong studio. Uh, it's really my pleasure today, uh, Women in Lighting, give me this chance to share my experience and design forward with all of you. Um, my topic today is facade and bespoke lighting. Um, we'll be, I will be focused in one of the projects that we completed two years ago. Uh, it's called Morpheus. It's a hotel and casino project. As you can see, this is a really outstanding one um, in comparison with all the surroundings building. Um, our client is Melko, the design architect is Saha Hadi from UK. Um, the whole building was um, designed and um, support by a external um, structural system we call it exoskeleton. Um, the design is very organic. Uh, it got a series of free form area area in the middle. Uh, it's a, basically it's a series of openings in the middle of the building. Um, the site boundary is very limited. So uh, when we consider to design the facade lighting, well, we need to properly incorporate our lighting into the uh, cladding system. Uh, but yet yeah, the consideration is that it is a hotel um, uh, project. Uh, most of the interiors are guest room. So um, our goal is actually to design something uh, on the facade, but then yet yeah, not to inter interfere the interior. Uh, this is really a challenge to us. Uh, some closer look of, um, of the building. Um, you may realize that um, each bay of the exoskeleton, uh, the geometry are very different. That actually uh, are really challenge to us if we need to incorporate uplights into it, uh, but yet not to, to interfere the interior too much. Uh, that's, that's actually involved quite uh, a lot of studies there. Uh, this is some of the photos that it, it be taken when it is completed. Um, basically, uh, we incorporate uh, up lighting uh, in each bay of, of the building. And then the fixtures are all RGB, so they could be programmed uh, for facet movement uh, into the color scheme. But most of the time, it is programmed in a white uh, scheme that you can see on the left hand side. Um, some closer look when it is lit up night time uh, with um, the up light scheme that being introduced. Uh, it all start with the concept. Um, the whole idea of the building is borrowed from nature. Um, the building itself is static, but then we believe the lighting can actually give a life to this building. Um, we're thinking of like breathing architecture, that, that the lighting can make the building beef by introducing um, a control system. Also, um, there was also a thought that uh, that the building itself could possibly be animated and moved as well, but this is part of the idea, original idea. Um, some of the early 
reference picture is that uh, when we work with the architect, that there's some possibility of how we incorporate light and how the effect will be. And of course, um, introducing color on uh, the building as well um, is part of the goal because after all, it is a casino project. Uh, the surrounding buildings are actually quite um, um, different. They got all this uh, flashing LED uh, um, scheme on the facade. So somehow um, we have to design the building. Yeah, it could be very subtle in the white color scheme, but then yeah, sometimes when there's a facet moment or there was a time in time that we can program different scenes for the building. Now, um, is we begin with all the study of how to incorporate the uplights there. Somehow we feel that the uplight need to be very precise, relocated, and also the optics of the light has to be really accurate as well. As I explained that in early that early stage, that um, uh, this is a hotel project that the interfere of the uh, facade lighting into it is uh, it it's uh, it's one of really my, my our a major consideration. Uh, we all start with um, sketching on the rendering. Um, to start with, uplight incorporate into the exoskeleton. By the time when we design it, uh, the RGB uplight system with external for uh, for external use wasn't quite developed yet. Uh, but and also um, the selections of the fixtures are uh, very limited. So the original process is actually using uh, three separate RGB fixture to mix the color uh, as part of uplight. But then when we develop the latest, latest stage with uh, the manufacturer, uh, we come up with a, uh, a complete uh, new fixture. Uh, this is, and then there was a series of study of um, how in-house, how we're gonna incorporate lights uh how we going to change the optics of the light to make it uh, very precise and also uh how the location uh, of the uplight could possibly uh integrate it into the cladding so there's a series of study like uh, in different bay of the exoskeleton uh, but yet to maintain the same in intensity the same outlook um, that's really a, a, a extra challenge to us. So this is really a series of study that we have in house at the beginning, and also um, how we perceive uh, the light from the interior. Uh, we there was a thought that that we can add an extra uh, device that it can show off all the lights just built into the interior. And then again, then. Um, the, the freeform area in the middle is uh, another challenge because uh, under the freeform, um, there's a series of, um, there's quite a lot of space that they are using uh, for f &B. So um, how you're gonna place the light precisely, but then an angle to be, to be accurate, to shine on the target, uh, that's, uh, we, we, we actually took quite a lot of study on that as well. We're showing you some of the early uh, sketches and um, calculations. And then how um, the color scheme be applied to this building, uh, and how does it look as well uh, as part of the rendering uh, presentations to the kind. Uh, this is some of the early rendering that we show. Uh, we developed an uh, animation as well, but then um, it wasn't quite um, uh, uh, fully applied um, at the end, but then uh, we just give you some ideas of what's the look and feel uh, 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 at the early stage of concept. Of course, the budget, it's very important to the client as well. Uh, we did some budget calculations 
um, to it. Now uh, we go into the details. Um, we could not actually study this building two dimensionally or on purely on drawings. So that we 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 need to study the three D model. Uh, we borrowed this in this case from uh, the architects, and then we also need to program and make um, a, a a logic uh, to all those um, uh, exoskeleton uh, bay that we need to analyze it to standardize it in a way. Uh, we and also how we can run cable uh, uh, through this cladding. Uh, that actually quite uh, a large amount of works that um, we've been involved. Again, so this is uh, some of the early uh, studies, three dimensionally, uh, together with location of fixtures, and also how we do the routing of the cable uh, as well. Somehow um, we need to advise um, where the cable actually go into the building. So there's a series of study of uh, how we're going to make the opening to penetrate through the, the system into the interior. And then also the wiring and routing of all the cable um, and how we're going to devise a zone um, in, on the building to make the whole lighting system works. Now, um, yeah, of course, when the cable go in, there will be a lot of uh, equipment that we did consider to place in the interior. Uh, this is a casino uh, and also a uh, hotel project. Uh, there's a quite a lot of space that we couldn't actually locate uh, all those equipment. So there will be a, a more study uh, on the interior space that uh, to find uh, uh, best locations for, for all those equipments. Now we come to the details of the fixture. Um, this is really an early uh, study uh, of um, how incorporate lights into um, the exoskeleton system. Our space is really limited actually in a way. So, um, the fixture we've been designed and looking for, it has to be really shallow, but yet it could do the, the top, the optics and also the beam that we, we've been seeking for. So we did a preliminary uh, design on uh, the fixture uh, by using all those earlier research uh, with also considerations of the actual uh, space that we have to, to resist them. Um, and uh, on the right hand side, you will see that uh, this is the original RGB fixture that we do not need to separate anymore while we develop it. Then um, uh, this fixture, these two fixture, we actually work with um, um, uh, uh, the brand Numenscape that they, they developed this custom fixture for us. And then altogether with manufacturer, we do more detailed study uh, in each bay uh, of the exoskeleton. Uh, we're going to benchmark it uh, with uh, all, uh, so what we call a standard bay. But then there's also a long standard one, which is in the free form area. So that we, we, we need to study each, each bay by bay. Uh, and all fixture will need to be labeled uh, to the a, a special angles and also a special optics with it. Now we need to consider, as I say in earlier, earlier that we need to consider the interior uh, uh, lighting as well. Um, and then the light shouldn't be spilling too much to the interior, although it's really difficult to avoid it, but then we try to reduce it. So there's some study that we're looking from the interior to the exterior uh, through the exoskeleton and the, and the facade system. How we're going to reduce the spill light with the right optics. 
some of the closer look when we stand at, stand at the edge of the building to looking out to the freeform area. Now then we need to come to into the details how to incorporate the lights into the facade, the cladding system. Um, every single joints uh, then we need to consider carefully, not to limit the adjustable angle of the lights, but also we need to consider the, the, the optics and also um, the amount of chips you can put inside to make the light strong enough. Um, it's really all we need. We probably need, we actually need to study it in three dimensionally. There's nothing we can do uh, on uh, two dimensional or on drawing. So this is a, um, the the prototype of the fixture at the end. As you can see, they're really shadow one. And then the original idea of uh, RGB, it becomes RGBW now as the, the LED technology developed. But very important that we need to mock it up and uh, do and, and see the actual effect. Um, so this is uh, one of the early mock up that we did, we did it on site. And then there will be more site uh, testing uh, when the structure was almost built. So we did a lot of quite a lot of on site um, uh, mock up as well to just do trial and error and make sure that the light beam uh, correct uh, according to what we've done on paper. And of course, when it is almost completed, um, the site checking uh, uh, and then the site mock up, more site mock up. Uh, to test against the fixture. And this time, uh, when it comes to building almost being completed, we actually uh, testing the color as well. Because some, sometimes when we do the calculations on paper, uh, it doesn't really uh, uh, it, uh, reflecting the actual um, uh, effect with considering the finishes, uh, or, uh, actual finishes as well. So that uh, the testing of the color on site is very important. Now then we have a more like um, mock-up and testing on site. Um, we actually do the commissioning uh, and focusing not in one go. We do it part by part because it, as, as I mentioned, there's a lot of geometric in the exoskeleton um, bay so that we need to test it like level by levels to make sure they're all right and being focused right. So they actually save us some time when it's all, uh, all completed at the end, so that we just need to connecting all this program together four by four to become uh, a whole scheme. So this is like, um, yeah, a process that we can go through for five years to make Morpheus um, completed. At the end, uh, we'd be happy to involve this project and um, uh, We've been uh, uh, awarded for uh, several um, uh, uh, because of this project, and we are really glad that uh, we've been completed in a very nice way. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, uh, a little more on uh, uh, in interiors, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, that we did actually exterior and interior together. Uh, interior, there's a suite. There's three major uh, interior designer in, in this project. Um, Saha did the major part of the hotel, which is what you can see now is actually the hotel lobby. Uh, and then there's other uh, guest room designer by Peter Remedios and also um, the casino by uh, Wester. But I will be uh, showing you uh, the Saha part as well as a part of our architectural uh, design. Uh, this is a hotel uh, atrium, uh, really high ceiling with a skylight on the, the top. The skylight is actually the free form, the bottom of the free form. Uh, we're creating um, a series of light bulbs on two side elevations that they could be fully programmed as well. Uh, programmed as well. It almost looks like they are like changing landscape at night time. We've got more photos to show. Uh, uh, at the bottom of the hotel is actually a cafe. On top of that, uh, you see the skylighting, which is under, uh, which is under the free form. 
uh, we've been carefully incorporate dark light inside the way to illuminating uh, the hotel lobby. Uh, all the dark lights actually are hidden about the light boxes that you, we've been carefully calculated angle to make sure the lights actually shine on the on uh, on the ground floor. But at the same time, you don't uh, see the fixture uh, being exposed too much. Um, again, this is some of the interior details with stone, uh, really challenging as well, since it has stone uh, finishes, that the calculations and the detail need to be very precise to make it happening. And some of the interior. This is a free form area. On the right hand side is a Chinese restaurant, on the left hand side is actually a, a gallery. Um, uh, again, um, with this unique um, structure, uh, we the down lighting uh, at the ceiling uh, it's very limited in some of the space that we actually develop another interior lighting system uh, which incorporate into uh, the exhaust skeleton structure inside as well so that it actually it is a track system it's following an exhaust skeleton uh, kind of design uh, which is at the end is being proven very, uh, it's been done very successfully. So um, that's it for today. Hopefully, I hope, I'm hoping everybody um, enjoyed uh, what I've been um, uh, presented. So have a good day. Bye.